What's happening, my film nerds? David, the film junkie here. All right, guys, we got some more Batman vs Superman stuff. The production designer, Mr. Patrick Tato I can't say his name. Anyways, he's doing a little chatting. First thing down below, if you want to go read everything and want to hear me talk about it. But of course, he's chiming in on the larger threat that is beyond Doomsday. That's right. You know, how everybody just said that they've already seen the whole movie. They think Doomsday looks terrible. They think all this, all that. You know, the the thing that everybody does nowadays. You know, that instant gratification. They want. They just want to see the final product. They think they've seen the final product, so they immediately just throw in the towel and say, "I'm not going to see this movie. I already saw it." When there's so much more, and I'm still going to do a. I'm going to record a video tonight with all the questions that are still unanswered from Batman vs Superman. And this is what he had to say. He said, "We are able to tell a story in a fresh way." Doom Doomsday is an evolution in, is an evolution essentially. Fans may be aware of the death of Superman's story, but this is handled in such a new way. When the film is called Batman V or Versus Superman, it really has a lot of levels to the meaning. Superman isn't just killed off at the end of something. We see how he evolves as part of Lex's plan to protect the world. Seeing the Superman we know be gone and then replaced with the with this production we production is really going to make fans think of how we look at these super beings. It was especially interesting to figure out how would you create Superman from Zod. Then how would the how that involve into do or involve in the do's that evolve or whatever the fuck. Larger a larger threat time frame of how things fall into place will surprise fans. Doomsday isn't just the final act. See, they didn't show us the end. I mean, honestly, I still think we're going to see Lex in his big, huge armored suit, which is going to be great. Uh, there could be something else that shows up. Who knows? But they're telling a big, grand story, and what we saw was not the full thing. Who knows? Who knows? This could be Act 2 that we see Doomsday. Maybe this is what brings Superman and Batman together. Who knows? We don't know a lot, so that's what he had to say. It almost sounds like he gave away that Superman does die in this movie, but who knows. And then he says to try to create Superman from Zod. It's almost like maybe they're combining, like, and it would be kind of cool too, I think, if they were combining like the whole Bizarro story and as well as the Doomsday story. Like maybe Lex is trying to create Superman, like a clone of Superman, you know, and then it turns into this creature instead, and like something goes awry. You never know. They could be, because that's the thing, guys, is like, you know, with these movies, they're not trying to just show you, like, the same thing that you've already seen in the books. They want to tell it differently. You know, it'd be boring, you know. if we, It's just like going to a rock concert, and if, if your favorite band just played the songs exactly how they sound on the fucking album, then that's going to be boring. We want them to change it up a little bit. And bands do that. We want it to sound live and raw, you know? We don't want the same shit that we've already heard. So, of course, this is going to be different, but people just want it the exact same, and they're always going to shit on it. But let me know your thoughts about it. And first thing down below, if you want to read all those quotes again, it's cool stuff. I'm excited, and look out for my video about the unanswered questions for Batman vs. Superman. It'll be up hopefully later, if not tomorrow. And that's it, guys. I'll talk to you later. And thank you for watching, you beautiful people. You go ahead and hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Subscribe to my other channel too. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, and visit filmjunkie.com for all my videos.